Hey pals, Palamore here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I might look a little bit different today because I got a haircut recently, but uh, it's still me. It's your boy. In today's video, I'm going to go over one of the three rogue builds I talked about in a recent video of mine. Uh, and kind of talk about it in depth and actually show you guys how to one-shot people as assassination. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. As this gets close, I shift now. Ready? Three, two, one. Now. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one, man. All right, pals. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be breaking down uh, one of those builds, like I said, and that is the Envenom build. So if you're completely unfamiliar with this, you might want to watch my older video. Uh, it's the video that basically talks about three rogue builds that are pretty broken. You can do some really crazy things. Uh, but anyways... I've actually did a couple talent changes to one of the builds, uh, the one I'm talking about now, and I've also done a bit of a rotation uh, change, and I've made this build even crazier, and uh, the cool thing about this assassination build is that you're able to play Asa, uh, which is a different style of spec from sub. Let me actually switch over right now. Um, but basically, this build allows you to have um, a fair amount of sustained pressure and like uh, mediocre DPS, while still having the capabilities of doing crazy one-shot bursts. As a quick disclaimer for this video, um, I will say this: I do not think that this build is like similar to the One Dance build in the in the sense of, uh, you know, I, I truly believe the One Dance build is like a legitimate strong build in some compositions. Uh, I think that this one is very gimmicky, and you know, maybe it could work somewhere at high rating, but realistically, this one's more for fun. Uh, this is a gimmicky one-shot build. Uh, something you can do in twos, maybe battlegrounds, maybe impress your friends, or maybe potentially in some comps in high-rated arena. All right, so first, before we jump into the actual one-shot kind of rotation, let's go through some basics. Uh, so number one, this is the spec that I like to play. Uh, basically, Master Poisoner is going to give you good value all around. It's going to help with your sustain and DPS with this build. Uh, elaborate planning can be good, but we're not actually able to utilize this with our finisher since we're playing Deeper Stratagem and not Mark for Death. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but we just don't get a lot of value out of this with the big Venom. Uh, Night Stalker, this is really, really, really important. The reason we want this is because uh, even though it gets scaled down in PvP to 25% more damage, uh, we're actually going to be using... Uh, a vanish during our burst to guarantee that we can envenom from stealth making this one of the biggest modifiers on how much damage the envenom does next up we're going to take deeper stratagem in tier three uh, and this is so we can get an extra combo point and once again a finishing move damage modifier the extra five percent is going to stack up really nice with all the other modifiers uh, to make this hit really hard in this tier it's really optional and uh, defense uh, but then in this tier there's two different options so Number one, if you're playing a Night Elf, I would recommend you go Prey on the Weak. Uh, this way, you can actually squeeze your Shadow Meld uh, into the burst rotation, and it'll allow you to do a Shadow Meld cheap shot before you go for your big Venom. Uh, but if you're not playing a Night Elf, you won't really have a chance to get a stun on the target. You can't kidney them because you have to save your combo points, and uh, it's just kind of unlikely to rely on a re-stealth. Uh, but yeah, if you're, Night Elf, if you're Night Elf, sorry, go Prey on the Weak. If you're not Night Elf, you're safe to go Internal Bleeding. It's just going to help you a lot more overall uh, with energy regen, pressure on your kidneys, all that kind of stuff. In the next tier, Alacrity just seems to give the most value. I've messed around with all these talents, by the way. Uh, this one just gives a lot of DPS value. It's really, really strong. And then uh, down here, these are kind of gimmicky, not really... Uh, anything we want to work with, uh, just grab Poison Bomb. Next thing to talk about is conduits, uh, some conduits that are actually really important. This is something that I've also added to the build. Uh, so number one, I play Corain when I do this build, uh, meaning if my target is above 75% health or below 35%, I'm going to hit 10% harder with this huge Venom. Uh, sometimes you'll hit this window, sometimes you won't, but it really, really adds a chunk. Uh, and then the most important part that I've added is using the conduit well placed steel. So if you don't know this, as the assassination spec, whenever you shiv, uh, it will basically increase the nature damage you do against your target uh, by 20%. When you run this conduit, you can increase it based off the item level. Uh, with my item level, it increases by 13%. So basically, if I'm to shiv my target uh, for the next 9 seconds, they'll take 33% increased nature damage. And if you don't know this, uh, in Venom does nature damage. So obviously this is another massive modifier. I would also recommend you run the septic shock conduit because sepsis is a really important part 
of this burst as well, uh, and it's going to help you do uh, a lot more damage. Okay, so I quickly grabbed a viewer actually from my live stream. Shout out to you, Oburst. Thank you for helping. Um, I asked him his versatility. He's got 29 versatility. Uh, obviously, not full best of slot gear, 37k health. Uh, enough health to give an accurate representation of how crazy this damage is. Uh, I also have some clips that I will throw in from some lower rated arenas playing with LFG healers. Uh, but yeah, I mainly just want to demonstrate the rotation and kind of show you guys how this works. So, uh, most important thing is you want to have six combo points before you start. This does require ramp up. So, once you have your six combo points, you're basically good to go. Uh, I'm going to tell them to heal up. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to play around your sepsis explosion. So if you guys don't know this, uh, when you put sepsis up on a target, it will do a big dot. Uh, it will last for 10 seconds. But at the end of the 10 seconds, it will actually explode and do a chunk of damage. So with all our modifiers that we talked about earlier, uh, well-placed steel, this is going to increase the nature damage from the sepsis explosion, uh, as well as the fact that we can shadow meld. Uh, this is also going to increase the damage. It's going to guarantee that it crits because we run the MA legendary. Uh, yeah, all of these things add up and do some really nice things. Hello, kitty. So anyways, you're going to want full combo points, and you're going to apply a sepsis. When your sepsis has about three seconds left, if you're a night elf, you're going to shadow meld, cheap shot this way you're making prey on the weak active they'll be in a stun for both the sepsis and the envenom and then you're going to shiv after you cheap shot and shiv you'll be about one second away from your sepsis exploding you're going to pop your vendetta macroed with your badge you're going to vanish and then venom and if done correctly uh, your target will take anywhere from, I would say, based off your gear, maybe 15k to up to 30k damage. Like, really, really absurd numbers. Obviously, it's going to depend on uh, what class you're hitting on, but keep in mind, this is nature damage, so this hits really good on uh, plate wearers. Uh, I've done some crazy big hits on warriors, uh, rep pallies, and all, the, all those kind of things. But anyways, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So once again, full combo points. I'm going to tell them to heal here again, and I'm going to put up my sepsis. So when I get to about three seconds on the buff, it's going to be a Shadow Melt, Cheap Shot, Shiv. So right here, Shadow Melt, Cheap Shot, Shiv, Vendetta, Vanish, and Big and Venom. And as you can see, <laughs> it absolutely overkills. Uh, I'll go ahead and check the combat log and see what the numbers hit for. Um, but the Envenom actually hits for 19.4k, and the Sepsis Explosion hit for a 6.8k with a 146 overkill. Um, another thing you got to keep in mind is melee attacks are going off at the same time as this. So I had a big melee hit for 1200. I had a sepsis dot tick go for uh, 1000. Um, yeah, all this damage adds up. You can hit really, really hard numbers. Like I said, 29 versatility. It is on leather, but we're doing nature damage. Uh, yeah. Anyways, like I said, if you're not playing a Night Elf, the only difference is that you don't really need to do the Shadow Mode Cheap Shot. You're not going to play around Prey on the Weak. Uh, you're just going to basically do your Sepsis. When it's close to ticking, you're just going to throw a Shiv up, pop your Vendetta and Badge, and then do a normal Vanish and, and Venom. So yeah, it'll be 5% less damage, uh, but you'll still get the huge crits and you'll still be able to do a lot of damage. Okay guys, so in slow motion, really quickly, I just want to show you how this works. So you apply the Sepsis, and you're really just playing around the timer. Remember, if you're not a Night Elf, just get rid of the Shadow Meld and Cheap Shot and just do the Shiv. But you're going to wait till the buffs at about 3 seconds left. You're going to Shadow Meld into a Cheap Shot, Shiv your target, use your Vendetta and PvP badge, and then vanish with an Envenom. As long as you have the MA Legendary, everything will crit very hard. Alright, here we go. We're going to go for the one shot here before this guy can react, okay? I think not. Let's find out. Boys, look, you target the pally like you don't want the warrior. Pretend you're scared. Hit him with one of these. Into one of these. Kill him before Seth. I'm pretending I don't want him. Pretending I don't even want him. I'm pretending I'm scared. Watch this. Meld, cheap shot, shiv, combo. <laughs> Anyways, pals, that's going to wrap up the video. 
Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this. Go and try it yourselves and have fun. Get some big one-shots. Uh, if you did enjoy, I would really appreciate if you could like and comment on the video. It helps me so much. Uh, and if you find yourself coming back to my channel a lot, I would also really appreciate if you could sub. Uh, also, I stream every single day over at twitch.tv slash ipalamore. So come stop by and say hi. Uh, anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Stop doing that thing again. I'm doing the thing at the end where most people clicked off the video, except for you. I'm going to go pet my cat for you guys. Hi, kitty. They're still watching for some reason. I don't know. I guess we'll see them in the next one.